Hello everyone, this is Nichelle Mack. I am an education and instruction librarian for UT Southwestern Medical Center. And in this tutorial, I will present on expert database searching techniques. By the end of this session, you will be able to access library resources from our library website, develop a search strategy in our databases, perform searches in Ovid, Medline, Embase, and Scopus, manage your search results, and set up an account in each database. From the UT Southwestern intranet, or MyUTSW, you can access the library under the Services tab or under the Tools tab. From the Clinical Portal, select Library Services under References. Another option is to go directly to the library's homepage using the direct URL. If you are off campus or accessing library resources remotely, you may see this screen prompting you to sign in. Use your UT Southwestern ID and password to be authenticated. Searching the literature is part of an eight-step process. The steps include stating the topic or clinical dilemma as a question, identifying key concepts and synonyms, identifying appropriate information sources, such as databases, conducting the search and reviewing your results, combining your search results if necessary, refining your search if appropriate, applying limiters or limits, and keeping track of your search process. The first step is to define what you are looking for. We recommend that you state your topic as a question. For example, in breast cancer survivors, what is the effect of exercise? From your topic or question, generate a list of key terms to use for searching a database. In our example, those terms are listed to the left. The database may suggest major and subject headings to get results more relevant to your search. Those terms are listed to the right. The most popular databases for searching biomedical literature are Medline or PubMed, Ovid Medline, Embase, Scopus, and CINAHL Complete. In some cases, linking from clinical decision support resources such as UpToDate or Micromedics is helpful. Using a combination of subject heading and keywords can be helpful if you need to do an exhaustive search on a topic. Understanding the differences between and the uses of subject versus keyword searching will help you develop your search strategy. Note, do not assume that the subject headings are the same from database to database. When you're ready to search, enter your search terms in a separate field. Combine your search terms using Boolean logic. Those are incorporating OR, AND, and NOT in your search strategy. OR creates a set that contains any of the search terms. Use OR to combine synonyms, spelling variations, or related terms. For example, breast neoplasms or breast cancers combine related terms or synonyms. AND creates a set that contains all of the search terms. Use AND to find citations which are about all of the concepts to help answer your research question. For example, exercise AND survivors AND breast neoplasms or breast cancers can help you find articles to answer our 
research question example. In breast cancer survivors, what is the effect of exercise? You would use not to exclude a relevant term. And typically, those exclusions can be filtered out using a limiter, which we'll go over later in this presentation. Here's an example of the difference between using a Boolean operator and not using a Boolean operator. While they both retrieve the same results, the list to the right is better ranked by relevancy. After reviewing and evaluating the retrieved citations, you may decide that the search retrieved too few or too many results. If you receive too few results, you can broaden your search by using broader subject headings, including all subheadings with subject headings, adding additional synonyms or keywords, or combining your search terms with OR. If you receive too many results, you can narrow your search by using sub subject headings only, including specific subheadings, not all, using the focus option if available, and combining your search terms with AND. Applying limits can produce results that are focused and well-defined. Limits can include years published, language, age, sex, and publication type. Applying too many limits may produce too few or even no results. For this tutorial, we will focus on Ovid databases. Ovid is a single interface to multiple biomedical databases and full text resources including books and journal articles. The library's database description includes Ovid Medline, Embase, PsycInfo, Health and Psychosocial Instruments, Biological Abstracts. It is recommended to search the databases individually to take advantage of each database's unique search features. You can access Ovid databases at several points on the library website. There is an Ovid search bar located at the top of the page and links to Ovid Medline, Embase, and PsycInfo listed under popular links towards the bottom. To get started, select the following database. In Ovid, the search default is Advanced Search. When a search topic includes more than one main idea, you will get better results if you search each concept separately. Use quotes when searching for a phrase. The mapping display shows the best matches to your search term. Click the subject heading link to view related terms that are more general or more specific. If your search did not map to a desirable subject heading, select the box Search as Keyword. Click Continue. In the tree for breast neoplasms, you can view the related terms that are more general or more specific. You can explode your search term, which means to retrieve results that contain the subject heading term in combination with all its narrower, more specific terms. You can focus your search term, which means to restrict your results to a subset of articles where the subject is considered to be the main focus of the article. Note, choosing to focus your search term at this point may greatly reduce your search results. You can view the scope note which provides additional information about the subject heading. Click Continue. Subheadings allow you to refine your subject heading term to specific topics. If you do not wish to restrict the focus of your search, then select Include All Subheadings. Click the eye icon to get more information about the scope of the subheading. Click Continue. 
Repeat the search process with the remaining subject headings, exercise, and survivors. Keywords can also be used in the advanced search. Deselect map turn the subject heading. Use quotes to search a phrase. Use an asterisk to truncate a word or phrase to locate all possible words and phrases. For example, breast cancer can equal breast cancer and breast cancers. For other synonyms or related terms, use or. To answer the question, in breast cancer survivors, what is the effect of exercise, combine the three search sets using AND. Avid database limits focus your search to specific aspects of information. You can apply limits either before or after you execute the search. Avid offers basic and additional limits at the bottom of the search screen. Click on the Additional Limits button to access extended limits such as age, publication types, and journal subsets. Hold the Control key to select more than one item in a category. Applying too many limits may produce too few or even no results. Note, limits in their application vary from database to database. Click on Display Results to view the citations. Each citation includes the author's names, article title, type of article, source title, volume, issue, and dates. Choose Customize Display to view abstracts, publication types, etc. without reformatting continuously. Click on the Find It icon to check if the library subscribes to the journal. Review Retrieve Citations and check the box to add a citation to your list. When you have finished reviewing the list of citations, click Keep Selected to generate the resulting list. You can print, email, or export your selected articles. To save a search you are working on, click on Save All to continue. Click My Account to set up an account or log in. Click Create Account to open the registration page. Use your UT Southwestern email address to create the account. My Workspace contains my projects, my searches and alerts, and my eTOCs. You must log in into your personal account to access these features. You can save your search in Permanent Searches, Auto Alerts, and My Projects. Permanent Searches allows you to save, re-execute, or edit your search strategy. Auto Alerts instructs Ovid to run your search on a regular schedule and forward results to your email, RSS, or My Projects. My Projects is a research organization area where you can store searches, text, results, citations, full text, and graphics, or etc. You have 50 megabytes of storage available. To retrieve a search, click on View Saved, or you can scroll through your list of searches. Click Run, Delete, or Copy. You can create Table of Contents Alerts, or ETOCs, using RSS or your UT Southwestern email. Scroll through the list of titles to subscribe. When you're ready to change the database, use the change link on the main search page to search in a different Ovid database. A new window will open. Select the new database from the list and click OK.
Embase is an Ovid-based biomedical and pharmacological database containing more than 31 million bibliographic records and peer-reviewed journals, including 2,900 unique titles not found in Medline. The subject headings in Ovid Medline may not be the same in Embase. Run a search for each term separately. Since Embase coverage includes Medline, and non-Medline journals and conference abstracts, click on the Additional Limits button to access the Exclude Medline Journals limit to minimize duplicate results from your Medline search. Scopus is a multidisciplinary scientific database covering 25 million abstracts from over 14,000 titles across 4,000 publishers. It includes journal articles, patents, conference proceedings, and websites in the physical sciences, health sciences, life sciences, and social sciences. Scopus features smart tools to track, analyze, and visualize research. Also, you can identify emerging trends, increase the visibility of your research, build a collaborative network, bolster funding applications, and articulate the value of research to your organization. Access Scopus from our list of popular links. The search default is Documents. Search Scopus using keywords and remember to consider current terminology and synonyms. Scopus is not case sensitive. Entering singular nouns will also search for plural nouns and possessives. Entering either British or American spellings will search for both variations. Use the drop down menu to specify which fields you would like to search. When a search topic includes more than a main idea, you will get better results if you search each concept separately. Use quotes to search a phrase. Use an asterisk to truncate a word or phrase to locate all possible words and phrases. To include synonyms or related terms, use OR. To answer the question, in breast cancer survivors, what is the effect of exercise? 
Combine the three search sets using AND. To add additional terms to your search, search within results. To limit your results by year, author name, subject area, document type, language, or etc., look under Refine Results. Let's point out the seven features of the Scopus results page. One, your search strategy will appear at the top of the page. Two, analyze search results. This shows the number of documents broken down by various criteria, including year, source, author, affiliation, etc. Three, click to show all abstracts. Four, sort. Use the drop down to change sort options. 5. Display details. Click the article title, author name, or journal to view details. 6. Cited by. This shows the number of documents that cite the listed document. 7. View the abstract, find it in our library, or click related documents. Select Edit to modify your original search. Save to store your search. Set alert to schedule a search to run automatically. Set feed to subscribe to an RSS feed. To export, print, or email your results, select the documents and then click the appropriate option. You can customize information to export, print, or email. To generate a citation overview, select Documents and click View Citation Overview. To set up an account in Scopus, click Register to open the registration page. Use your UT Southwestern email address. When you register, you can create alerts, save searches, and save document lists. For future sessions, click Login to access your account. We hope this presentation has helped you feel more confident in finding literature in our databases. If you think of any questions, feel free to contact us via the chat, by phone, or in person. Happy searching!